At first glance, Sergeant Daniel Lopez looks like your everyday soldier. As he starts to walk, you notice he has a limp. I'm nine days off from Iraq, traveling on New Jersey Turnpike. Um, got a flat tire, stopped to change the flat tire and was hit by a vehicle. That takes a little more time than, than anyone would imagine or want to imagine, but it comes along slow but surely and determination to get you through it. He has just gotten home from two years in Iraq. When that crash happened, now he's an amputee in the Wounded Warrior Transition Unit at Fort Hustis. Daniel is one of 100 soldiers selected from a pool of 9,000 wounded service members to compete in the first ever Warrior Games hosted by the U.S. Olympic Committee being held in Denver, Colorado. So overwhelmed. Just to be selected is just an honor in itself. To be participating in the games alone. I'm able to do anything that I was able to do with two legs, maybe with a little more, uh, little more effort, but I can still do it. I've never seen a more inspirational individual in my life. He sets his mind to stuff and he accomplishes everything that he sets out to do. Once you accept it, you learn to overcome whatever boundaries are put in front of you. Sergeant Lopez will compete in the individual 50 meter backstroke 10K cycle, team volleyball, and relay swim. The games begin May 10th and run through May 14th. At Fort Houston, Ricardo Major, News Channel 3.